it's time to conquer the urbans. This is urban cards. It is a deck based player versus player storyline driven game where you battle with cards to try to own neighborhoods, uh, get yourself out of debt once you start getting yourself in there, and just become rich. So basically, there is random events that come up. It's roguelike in that nature, of course. But as of right now, we're going to try to take over the city. Uh, elections are coming up for the governor of Hughes City. Has Elections are coming up so that the governor of Hughes City has lowered the taxes for companies of your income bracket. You're getting money back. Hello. So this is the Lone Shark, as you can tell. Uh, I get $2,000, which is good. And the next game, we start with 300 Strong start for our first event. Uh, this little meter right here, the best that I can tell, uh, wherever your red dot is, shows you if you are making money because it goes up, or if you're losing money and it goes down. So there, here's another event where you can basically win random money, lose random money, get new cards for your deck, or you can battle. Uh, this is a battle versus the gamers. This is a battle versus the suits. The way that works is they have different types of decks. I know I can probably win the suits one, so I'll use this as an example of how to play. Uh, this is a decent starting hand. I'm just going to take the cards, and once the game starts for real, I will explain what everything does. We will be going second. So our goal right now is to... The day is the day. Shh. Our goal right now is to be over $3,000 in one turn. As of right now, we're at $600. I'm $0 in debt. I have six cards left in my deck. Uh, the opponent is up here. He has zero money offhand. He is $1,000 in debt. And he has five cards left. So this top row where the sidewalk is, where he has a suit, uh, that same thing down here. And what the workers do is they cannot be attacked or destroyed. But for every turn you have them out, when your turn starts, you get an additional amount, which is the dollar value down here. And then the 300 at the top is how much money it costs to cast. Uh, every turn you get baseline $300. If you have more of these cards out, you get more when your turn starts. It is the only time you get more money. And what I want to do is, I either want to, like I said, get the 3,000. Uh, there's certain cards you can steal money from each other. Or I want to ride him out until he gets far enough into debt where he loses that way as well. So, if you look at my cards, I have a worker, which like I said, is a $100 extra a turn. Uh, businesses are the main money draws in this game. They go in this middle tier of colors right here. Uh, there are three lanes, as you can tell. Each lane only interacts with itself. That will come into play, depending on what kind of cards they play. Uh, there are action cards, which is things that affect what's currently going on in the game. Uh, there are... He is an attacker, which he can do one damage to anything, or he can steal $100 from the other person. And here's another worker card where she makes $100 only if I control a business. So realistically, I'm going to put my worker out. So right now I'll get a bonus of 100 on my next turn, plus my normal amount. And the way I usually play it is, I wait until things are starting to be played before I put down my henchman. Because it's easier to counteract if someone is trying to kill your stuff, if you have, car if you have cards out afterwards. So if they play like a their own office in the middle here, it's easier to counteract it, I guess, and play a thief who has the attack ability down there to destroy their building. Uh, if you look at this building card here, the four shield at the bottom is how many uh, hit points it has before it blows up. So with something like him, he has to attack it four times before it gets destroyed, if it was the other person's building. You can only put two henchmen per top or bottom row tile, like our little attack rows, and you only have one building per middle lane. So if they have two buildings in the middle, I can only put one on this left side, or I have to destroy one of theirs and play one of mine. Uh, I think I'm gonna hold it for now, because this isn't gonna be worth the extra 100 for just $200 spent, and I don't wanna waste him necessarily yet. Okay, so here's a cheaper business that earns 100 only if I have workers played out already. So since I do, I'm just going to throw it. It doesn't really matter what lane you put them in. I'm going to start it over here, though. 
And since I have a business now, I might as well play her for that bonus as well. Okay, so our new card was a Magic Tide, which converts a henchman into a suit that works for you. So if I have henchmen, I can play this and turn them into a worker to get me extra money. Or if they have a henchman out, you can do the same thing where you steal their henchman, they become a worker for you, and you make money that way. So I'm going to throw another business out here and try to take control of the middle of the board a little bit earlier, just so that I get the 100 off of, get the 100 off this building, 200 off this building, 100 off this suit, 100 off this worker, plus my other money. So while I can, again, I'm just going to throw everybody out here. We're going to get a whole nice line of businesses going here. Okay, so a couple different things now. So since these buildings are all mine, you can see under the yellow two, or the white 200 is a red 200. That is the debt I'm putting myself into for playing these we'll call them higher power cards. That's the number I want to avoid with the uh, max debt. So we got a workaholic broker who has compete. And if I have more people with compete, you get a bonus. Uh, they now have two attackers up here on this lane. So what I will do is I'm going to play this on the guy that has two punches. He'll destroy this building a little bit faster if I let go. I'm sorry it gets so loud. That was he will destroy the building a little bit faster if I let that go. And I now have another suit down here. Uh, this guy, like I said, can steal 100 cash from me as an attack, or can do one damage to the building. So what I'll do now is play Henshin. So my next turn, I can definitely at least destroy him. I will also play my cash action bonus. I have the vibe in this game turned down very low. I have no idea why those actions get so loud. I think the rest will let go for now. Just listen to that money rake in. And as you can see, like, so he has zero cards left. I have zero cards left. I just can't play anything new anymore. So I'm not sure what all he has in here. These might be buildings. But at this point, you just let the game play out as it goes. And you see what happens. So again, I'm going to steal his henchman. <laughs> just to be a dick. I'm going to put the telephone seller over here. I'm going to attack this guy. This doesn't come back after me anymore. Um, these are, it's your damage plus the HP. It does not come back. So realistically, I wasted one punch on him. But that's okay. I don't think I have anybody with compete. Uh, I might as well play him just to get start making money off him. So at this point, I don't think he can play anything. So we're going to keep going back and forth. So realistically, I'm gonna steal 100 from him. End of my turn. Steal 100 from him. End of my turn. There it is. So it gives you a breakdown of how many turns it took, money earned, money stolen, what was stolen from you, what you spent your money on, blah, blah, blah. After that, you can buy a new card. So I can move a henchman if I want to. I can get another business to draw a card. Or I can get another worker to help me make money. Okay, so at this point I can fight the gamers or I can do the event. Or check what the event is. Competition campaign. The competition has launched an impressive campaign with a catchy tune about a product that competes directly with yours. What would you do? 
I can increase my debt by 600 and spend on a campaign with a feel good inclusive message. Increase my debt by 300 and use a dirty agency to spread bad rumors. Or I can do nothing and hope for the best. Uh, debt is bad, obviously. We're, we'll make it a happy, uh, happy bad campaign. Hello. So because of that, my next game, all businesses make an extra hundred bucks. We go to the shop. I got the good stuff. Thanks, man. So this is just buying uh, perks and extra cards. So if I buy the robber mask, it's an extra fifty bucks. Uh, steal. I get three defense to my businesses. I can make 50 bucks when I play a henchman, or robbers have a 30% chance of not stealing. I don't really think I need any of these cards at the moment. This one might be okay, but I don't think I want to waste my money on that. I will get another worker though. All right, so now I can do fight the restaurants level two, or I can fight the devs who are level one. I don't trust my deck that much yet. We will do the devs level one. So in theory, and you'll probably see it at some point, their deck style will definitely be different than that last one. So they might have more attackers, they might play their businesses faster, but they all have distinct play styles and turns. Gotta start making that schmula. Let's get a business going. Let's just see what happens if you play a business here. Alright, so now realistically, I can either let this go and let him make $200 a turn, or I can put someone down here to try to start um, destroying his business. The one thing I do want to do is take this last um, business spot, we'll call it. Alright, now I'm gonna... We'll do another work. Another day the office. I might be burning my money too fast when I play this game like that. But I feel like getting aggressive in the beginning is better than just letting everything sit around. So they're getting crazy with uh, putting attackers down now for this. So I will take the one that henchmen can't attack. <laughs> I will earn more money for my workers. And we will get a security guard for this. So as of right now, I'm not worried about this building. I'm more concerned about him taking down mine. He can have the extra money if he wants it. At least in my personal opinion. Again, don't know if that's right or wrong. It's just how I've been playing the game. Well, that was a real dick move on his part. So we're going to bring my business back just to try to get another one of those steal a attacker cards. From me. That would be the card I wanted. <laughs> and now I'm going to play him over here just to try to start bringing this down if I can. Alright, 
also play him just for the money intake. Punch him to keep him away from my building. And then... Attack the indie building. Okay, so at this point, all I really have, you can't go across lanes like I said, you can't attack workers, you can't go across lanes, you can't attack the person because he's not a thief. So as of right now, I'm just going to have to let this game play out. Uh, I should be fine and hit that 3,000 after this turn, so it should be okay. So I kind of dodged the bullet there. I want another control card for sure. Unlocked a new deck. If I want to play as, I guess that's a weird dev guy. All right, so there are options right now is either debt and trade, uh, fight the suits, or do an event. I'm going to see what they have for trade here. So you can pay off part of your debt just so you don't lose. I actually gonna think I'm gonna do that. Whoa, dude. Whoa. Whoa, dude. Whoa, what is that? Let's see what you got for me. Okay, so the game crashed there for a second. It's actually the first time it's done it since I've been playing. But it saves pretty well, so no, no real damage done. So if I want to get cards that he has, I can look at mine and decide if I want to negotiate and trade some of my players to try to get better cards from him. Like, I could use some more attackers. So even though it's... Actually, I'll do this one. Deal, dude. There we go. Okay, so I can use more attackers. I got him. I think that should be good. So again, we can do the event if we want to, or I can go fight, go fight the next battle. And I guess that guy was restaurant terrorist. So that's what that face was. Seems like I, it seems like I start stacking a lot. And since we're on tier two now, the goal is way more money. But the debt is about the same. That business might be there for a while. This deck wasn't the best. They were more, let's just make money. So I'm thinking this will play out the same way, but I'm not sure yet. I am going to play like that's what's going to happen, though, and we will adjust accordingly if we have to. He's definitely going to punch me. So I might as well do this then.
No reason to waste my my turn on that crap. Okay, so we will steal one of the ones from over here. <laughs> I need to counteract this then. Okay, so you go there. You go here. Another day at the office. So now we're gonna double up next turn. That noise will never not be loud. I'm trying to I'm trying to ignore this. I'm trying to work around him getting money out of that. If it doesn't help, then I'm probably gonna lose, but you know what? That's my plan. Okay, so at this point, I'll probably not be able to play another business. I can take him out for a hundred bucks, but I don't know what cards he has left. Uh, I might as well just try to get my money to five thousand before some bad. <laughs> Yeah, okay. In the race to the top, I lost. Oh, hello! You're too big to fail. Here's a ballot from the taxpayers. So I'm not completely dead in the water yet. You're basically, as long as it's. Basically, it's, you don't want to go too far in debt. And I'm not there yet. I think the debt level for the campaign part is 5,000, I want to say. Elections are coming up. You got my money back. I never fought the party people before. We'll give that a try. There we go. Crap, there's no way to steal. That's fine. Yo, he's gonna whip me real fast. Holy shit. Yeah, unfortunately. Actually, just him. He's gonna steal from me. <laughs> I can move around and I'll get rid of that one too. 
Here's that tax break card that I got earlier. Is this one not turned? Yeah, see, it's turned down the way. I have no idea why it does that. This is just about the end, I think. <laughs> I can hope for the best, but he's making way too much money a turn. That's how you get whooped. That is one strong ass deck. There you go. That would be the end of the run. Shows you everything that you did. Shows you got a piggy bank. And we go back to the beginning here. But as Urban Cards, if you think this is cool, I believe it is an early access. It might be out by the time you see this. Feel free to pick it up. Thank you for watching as always, and I will see you next time for more card slinging fun. Wait.